packing to go to Phuket. I'm so strong. I can't believe I met like seven crosses. <laughs> Italian restaurant right across the street from the hotel. Especially here in Phuket, everything is more expensive. Alcohol is not being sold today because of the holiday. Heavy metal temple. <laughs> What is up everyone? Sir William here coming at you from Bangkok. Tonight, my metalcore band is playing at Immortal Bar near Khao San Road. And tomorrow morning, I am flying out to Phuket for a week. And so, my place is a mess, as you can see. I'm getting in some last minute practice on the guitar and packing up for Phuket. So, we're gonna go rage on stage tonight like the locks uncaged. And then we're gonna go to Phuket. Let's get it going now! Yeah. Because he wanted to change some orders, right? Some some songs. The Cheech and the Chong. Everybody say hi. Hello. Hi. We have to wake up in six hours to fly can wake up. Can to Phuket. Be. Yeah, she can wake up. It's a boat ride. She can wake up. It's a boat ride. She can wake up. Wait, we can taxi. I'm so drunk. I can't believe I met like seven crosses tonight. Babe, that's not. It's not even cool. I'm lightweight, so yeah, but I'm still like 30 percent conscious right now. You see, I can still walk. And I can still talk. Don't leave me now. How you feel? I'm drunk. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry. Perfect time. Yeah. It reveals your true feelings. <laughs> this one doesn't know how to drink. She mixed mojito with white Russian with Long Island iced tea. Bad news. So, how are you feeling? Very good. Yeah, great. Yeah. It's two o'clock in the morning. We gotta get up in five hours to fly to Phuket. We just woke up early. Living the life of a rock star. <laughs> how could you ever leave me, baby? Don't you love this rock star lifestyle? I used to. was a heck of a night. We are now headed to the airport via the MRT. How you feeling, babe? I don't know. Feeling so good. Really? Over. Yeah. What is supposed to feel? Like about 9 a.m. Woke up at 7. I'm dead. Alright. Here we go to Phuket. Let's hope the weather is good. Everyone's talking about the rain since the rainy season just started. Alright, I'm actually feeling pretty good, so I'm gonna get on this flight to Phuket and see you there.
we made it touched down in Phuket now we got to get to the hotel let's go knew we should have taken a taxi now we've stopped at some place and everyone has to get out and explain what hotel they're staying at get out go inside this place and then come and get back in the minivan my recommendation is to just take a taxi for the extra 400 baht or whatever for the convenience Checking in. Yeah, I almost fell asleep in the uh, mini shuttle van. Feeling uh, the exhaustion now of only sleeping for like three hours after raging on stage last night. Yeah, we're gonna get up to the room, check it out. Awesome. The view is sick, as you can see. Bathroom's nice. The suite. I'm satisfied. We got the suite. Right, thank you. See you. Yeah, look, the restaurant's right across the street. We have freshened up. We're back out on the street. About to get hit by a car. There's a Italian restaurant right across the street from the hotel. So we're gonna eat at Franco Roma. Well, that place was closed because today is a holiday. Vesaka Puja, or Vasa, or however you say it, is the holiday that celebrates the Buddha's birth, death, and enlightenment, which we will be celebrating tomorrow by going to the temple. But right now we want to eat. We are walking to see what we can find here. We're out here on Patong Beach Road, trying to find another Italian place. It says it's up here. Uh, eight minute walk but hopefully they're open it's breezy today and on and off overcast the rainy season weather is uh unpredictable alcohol is not being sold today because of the holiday so we can't even get wine we could be good buddhists and not drink and go to the temple tomorrow <laughs> that was good tagliatelle bolognese was great Il Pomodoro. Now we're gonna get some massage. It's Thai massage time. And it's okay. And it's okay. And it's All right, Thai massage was good, but we're feeling pretty tired, so we're gonna call it a night. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the temple and check out some other things that we can do, meet up with some people. So see you tomorrow. Peace. And it's okay. Good morning. It is a good morning indeed. It's beautiful. Pretty good, it was all right. Got my coffee. Now we're gonna get ready and go to the temple. It appears to be confirmed that Bolt is cheaper than Grab, especially here in Phuket. Everything is more expensive, it's crazy. So actually yesterday was the Queen's birthday and today is the Buddhist holiday. 
Vaisak or Vasa or Vaisakapuja. How would you say this holiday in Thai? Vaisaka. Vaisaka Puja. Okay. This is Wat Chalong. This is the most popular and most important temple in Phuket. Let's walk around and check it out. It's on the way to the Big Buddha, so next we're gonna go to the Big Buddha. But first let's check out Wat Chalong. One thing they do here at Wat Chalong is set off massive amounts of fireworks to scare away the bad spirits and the ghosts. So we're gonna look at that. And then at the top, looks like they got a bunch of relics, like bones of monks that are crystallized. And it's a pretty nice view from up here. Whew, it's hot. The different postures of the Buddha images in there represent different days of the week that people are born on. And so people go and pay their respects to the uh, Buddha image. raging with the fireworks. Yeah. They use the incense here that does not smell good. There's there's some that smells good. Yeah. And there's some that smells okay. And then there's some that just smells like burning newspaper, this which is one, what they're using this here. This one is horrible. Yeah. It just yeah. smells like smoke. Like there's no That's about it for Wat Chalom. It's pretty cool. Worth a visit. I can recommend it. Pretty nice, pretty cool. Now we're gonna go to the Big Buddha. You can see the Big Buddha from here. So this temple is on the way. So you can hit Wat Chalom on the way to the Big Buddha. The Big Buddha in Phuket. So as you can see, uh, some of the things that people do as part of their religious activities is to put gold leaf on Buddha images, or in this case, images of the monks, uh, which I think are previous abbots of this temple, the head monk in charge, as it were. And then some other things that they do are release animals back into the wild. So they sell eels and fish that people can release into the pond to make good karma. And people obviously do the uh, common activities of uh, offering incense and whatnot. And then you also saw what I talked about in one of my previous videos, which is the, uh, the uh, fortune sticks. And so uh, they shake those cans of sticks and then one comes out with a number on it and then they go and get their fortune. from up here is amazing. It's awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. 
so much beauty in one camera. I think it's gonna explode. still under construction or improvement or expansion. The view from up here is amazing and it's free to get in, so I highly recommend. So apparently there was some conflict here between the taxi drivers and the grab and bolt drivers, the rideshare app. So I don't know, maybe do your research before you come or something. Now it's time for lunch. It's dripping. They got the drip. Drip, drip, drip. All right, that was pretty good. Had some traditional Southern Thai food. We're gonna go meet her friends and hang out with them for a little bit. at her friend's coffee shop here and now we're gonna go to the Sunday market here in Phuket check that out see what's going on there It's pretty cool. There's lots of people here, as you can see. The architecture in uh, Old Town Phuket is awesome. It looks European or reminds me of New Orleans or Cuba or something, but apparently it's an influence from the Portuguese. So we came to this place, Rin. They have lots of Japanese green tea and matcha, many, many different kinds. That was awesome. Mexican food is always a goal, and this Amor place came through. I can recommend. Enchiladas were on point. All right, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm tired now. All right, just got back to the hotel. It was a fun day, but I'm exhausted now, so we're gonna call it a night. See you tomorrow for some more adventures in Phuket. Peace.